So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to OR process or basically in plain English, how to multiply your ores or your resources. So as an example, when you go mining and you mine one iron ore, you only get one. But what you can actually do is you can actually multiply this easily from a couple ores. You can get quite a lot. So let me actually show you how to do this. And it is extremely simple and cheap to set up. Right. So let me demonstrate how to actually do this. So if you take one iron ore, right, so we have one raw iron. And what we need to do to multiply this, we need to go to the purification chamber. We need to put it in and this will basically double it. Now the purification chamber requires oxygen to work and you can get oxygen from the electrolytic separator and then from the electric pump. In a second, I'll show you how to set this up, but let me just actually demonstrate how to ore process first. So from the purification chamber, it basically doubles it and it goes to the energy smelter. You can actually use a different machine rather than energy smelter, but obviously mechanism works the best with mechanism. So I highly recommend just using the energy smelter. If it's too slow for you, you can just just put upgrades here for speed and there you go you have like a very very good fast setup right so to actually set this up what you need is you first of all you need some kind of water and electricity so i recommend just doing like a three by one like this it's a simple line of water and it works perfectly then what you have to do is you have to connect the pump to electricity so as you can see it works okay and it's getting water then on top of that you need to put the electro extra <laughs> electrolytic separator and then the purification chamber and then some kind of smelter that will smelt resources for us right so as you can see it's technically starting to work so if i put one iron ore right let's put it here as you can see it's starting to work and keep in mind that sometimes the electrolytic separator from mechanism is a bit glitched so what you may have to do is if it's not getting oxygen just go to the site configuration and play around here right if it still doesn't work just go around and try to play with the buttons here because I know sometimes it is glitching, it is a bit glitchy, right? As you can see, now it's starting to take oxygen. And um, sometimes by default, it works perfectly. Sometimes you might have to play around. As I said, it is a bit buggy or glitchy and you just might have to play around, right? But as you saw, I put iron, so if I put iron or again, purification chamber, as you can see, it works. Now also, if you want this to output to the smelter so it smelts automatically, what you just have to do is come to the site configuration and put, make sure on the right is the energy smelter and then just press auto eject. And what this will do is it'll basically send it right to the smelter and it's gonna smelt for you. You can obviously put a chest if you want at the top. So basically it will just put this stuff into the chest automatically. Right, I hope I explained this pretty well. Now, another way to ore process or triple your resources is to use a silk touch. So if you come to an iron ore and you dig it out, you get a whole iron ore block, right? And then all you have to do to triple it is use the setup I just showed you. So using the same setup, if you put it in the purification chamber, it's going to triple the resources. As you can see from one iron ore, I go three iron clumps and it's going to smelt and then be basically tripling the resources. Now also using an enrichment chamber, we can actually multiply any resources, right? So if you don't want to set up or you can't set this up or maybe it's too expensive for you right now, what you can do is you can use an enrichment chamber and as long as you have a whole iron ore, what you can do is you can double any resources. I think even diamonds. Yeah, diamond ores also work, so it will double and it's gonna give us two diamonds. But the thing is, this is not good because obviously using a fortune pickaxe, now, obviously, if you do have a fortune pickaxe, make sure to use your fortune pickaxe because fortune is way better than ore processing. But in a second, I'm going to show you how to multiply your resources using the ore processing and a, a fortune pickaxe. Now, basically, to get the maximum amount of resources, what you can do is you can mix the fortune enchantment with basically ore processing. So if I basically just use fortune pickaxe to get everything, by default, it should be four, right? But as you can see, I got 11. Now, maybe that's not a very good drop. And if you basically put this in the purification chamber, what we're actually doing is we're going to double this, which means we're going to get 22 iron ingots. Right, by just using a fortune with the purification chamber, we're basically doubling the resources. Now, just before I finish the video, I just wanted to show you guys how you can get fortune if you have Ender IO installed. So if you come to fortune crafting and you come to enchanting and the Ender IO, all you need is a book and quill, three emeralds, a lapis lazuli, and then you get a fortune book. You can do this in the enchanting station and this will easily give you quite a lot of enchants that you can craft. You don't have to go and grind for it or you don't have to create the enchanting table to get it. You can easily get it with the enchanting uh, enchanter from Ender.io. 
Right, and that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. And peace, thank you for watching.